you. Hola. Hola. So, haven't done a vlog in a couple weeks because I just didn't have any material to talk about because life has no, kind of been babe, normal. You gotta be honest about it. She asked me a few weeks ago, hey, could you please do my vlog with me? And I was like, no. She goes, fine. And then she's like, I really need your help. I had no material. And I was like, listen, just give me a few weeks. The holidays are here. A lot of pressure. And then, here we are now. Yeah. I was like, you know what? She needs me. I love her. She is carrying my child. So, here we are today. You have to be honest. <laughs> I was honest. No. I didn't want to do it because... I just didn't have stuff to do. <laughs> I just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Well, enough about me, but I could just go on all night. Yeah, you could. <laughs> so we're just going to randomly pick five. We're going to Twitter. Also, because I do turn 20 weeks Thursday. on Thursday. Thursday turn twenty weeks. Yeah, baby does turn and twenty baby. weeks. So yeah. I thought it would be a good time to answer some questions, and you know, just let everybody else know what's going on. I'm not gonna do like Brie Bella and show my belly because it's not gonna happen. Not yet. I don't think it could. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there we go. The common man. Common man. At Common Man P.O.D., mm-hmm. what's the one part of pregnancy that you guys are already over and want to move past? You go first. This one's for me. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What? I, I'm honestly... I hate not having my wits about me. I hate pregnancy brain. I've never been this much of an airhead. I really can't remember anything. <laughs> You have it. No, you can go. I can find it. Small check. That's pretty much it. There's nothing that I... I mean, obviously, her not feeling well. And uh, just having to deal with that. And not being able to, to do anything about it was frustrating. But she's feeling much better, she said. So, uh... Nothing currently. I'm just enjoying the process and still do not believe it's actually happening. <laughs> um, okay. At I M S O L seven. Don't do that. Dan. Don't do that. You're copying what I'm saying. Oh am I? <laughs> <laughs> I was I just wanted to say it so badly. Dan Fiddler. Fiddler. <laughs> Was the move from California to Florida a big change? Was time difference a difficult adjustment? Um, yeah. The move from California to Florida was huge for me because I was still in the first trimester. And I was feeling like dirt. I felt like, you know, I was going from like perfect weather in California, like 75 degree weather. And then I moved to Florida, and it was just, like, humid. And, yes, we are in the winter season now, but at first it was still hot and humid, and it was still going to take a lot of adjusting. But the time difference, not so much. I still get up, like, at the same time every day, unless I have um, something to get up for. Well, thank you for that question. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Good answer. Oh, God. Okay. Vanessa at Glamming... Glamming 89. Glamming 89. You really like that one, huh? Um, Have you noticed getting more emotional over things you would have never before? Yes. Hormones are a motherfucker. And some people don't ever have to deal with them. And some but people, have to deal with them. Some you know people will saying? never understand what is going on internally because they don't ever have to some deal with them. Some people understand because <laughs> they don't have to deal with them. I love you, though. 
You're always working. Yeah. You've dealt with them for like about two weeks. The rest, that's why I got a body pillow. <laughs> what? Uh, now it is. Um, Sean Ross Sapp. At Sean Ross Sapp. Sean Ross Sapp. Sean Ross Sapp. What was the roller coaster of emotions like from finding out pregnancy plus Roderick signing with the WWE? So, okay, so I'll tell you my side of the of all that, and then he'll tell his side of all that. So, right before I got pregnant, I was in the best shape of my life. I was just killing it. I was competing. I was just testing myself. I was just doing all the great shit. I had good coaches. I had amazing teammates. I found an amazing boxing gym. I just had a bunch of people around me who pushed me and... You know, even if I would lose some stupid grappling tournament, I was just around people who taught me how to lose. And that was a big deal for me. And I just jumped over a lot of hurdles. And I wasn't afraid to test myself. And then I found out I was pregnant. And then everything stopped. He got signed. Ooh. Yeah. And all was well. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, my side, obviously, for me, the biggest thing was being apart from her for so long because our relationship was always long distance and with uncertainty in my future, I didn't know if I was going to California or if she was going to come to Florida and obviously with her career going the way it was, probably going to have to go to California. So, uh, when, you know, there was uncertainty here, but... You know, you were getting, you know, your feet on the ground. Everything was going well with you. And then, you know, the opportunity came for me, which, you know, of course, we knew was was going to happen a little bit before we found out you were pregnant. So for me, knowing that I was getting a dream job and, you know, one chapter of my career was closing and another one was starting, I was finally in a position that I felt was, I don't know, just fanta no, fantastic. Not Blissful. Was, yeah, but m more prepared. And I felt like an adult. I felt like... Magical. A, a, yeah, ma I guess we say magical for that because I had the woman of my dreams. I got the job I had been working towards since I was like a child. I know a lot of people say that, but literally I've been wrestling since I was 12 years old. So. 11. <laughs> but then you know so so one part of a family was there for me and it just I, we talked about kids a little bit but never to a huge extent we had an idea like when you know she was done and we, you know I was done that we would start having kids or trying nonetheless so, I wanted to try at 30 so for me to find that out I mean as great as the news was and still is of my dream job, finding out that I was going to have a child, and with, like I said, the woman of my dreams, just took that to the next level, honestly, is the, it's still the most surreal and unreal feeling at the same time, every day, knowing that I have a partner that we continue to grow together, and we have a beautiful child on the way, so. Aww. Aww. I love you, babe. <laughs> I love you, too. Let's break the nose. That's okay. It's a hard nose. Up so hard. Um, spell it for him, babe. B u i d d e c h a s s. And I'd like people to. Man, I wish you could do voice message over Twitter because <laughs> I want to hear people pronounce this. Um, knowing the whirlwind of emotions Marina Shafir went through, how did you take the news? Also, have you thought of any names? Oh well, I kind of answered. I just answered that a little bit, but I like this one because of the names. Because it's actually was way easier than I thought. I mean, obviously. Well, we had already talked about it, kind of. Yeah. No, we stopped flipping. I'm sorry. Shaking. I'm sorry. Okay, let's sorry. put it back in here. Uh, just dealing with the emotions that she was going through was uh, obviously the, the hardest part. Because you, I was on top of the world, but also understanding that she 
as excited as she would be, was very devastated at the, the time and was in life altering situation. That I was definitely like, felt bad because like, he's happy I'm sad. He's happy I'm sad. He's happy I'm sad. And I just had a lot of shit to get over. She's sad and then I'm sad, but I act happy. That's <laughs> 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 he's a team player. I'm like, oh. Now I feel like I ruined your life, but obviously I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. But yeah, just dealing with that. No, I'm we're just... going to save that for the day that I give birth, babe. <laughs> you know, all that stuff is going to come out. Yeah, but... Including the baby. Mm, there we go. It's mm-hmm. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> no, but dealing with it, just, you know, just being patient with it is the biggest thing. And understanding that it's okay. For her not to be as excited as me, because we were obviously in two different positions in our lives, and, uh, yeah. So, I just let her be her, and deal with that, and here we are today. Halfway there? Well, almost halfway there. Yeah. And we do actually have the names picked out, but... Do we want to give them No spoilers. Yeah. So, yeah, that was five. Do we want to answer a bonus question? Or you want to listen to the song that this guy sent us? No, I'm done listening to songs. Let me look. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a good one. Are you at all concerned with losing your identity when becoming a mother? And who is that? That is coming from Blue Coda at Dina Rochelle 17. Um, that's a really good question. That's something I battled, like, when I first found out that I was pregnant, because fighting is such a selfish, selfish sport. I mean, it can be, but what I had to learn and kind of teach myself over again was that it didn't have to be, you know. um, I was really thankful that I, I was raised by my parents the way that I was, because, you know, they got their jobs done, and they were still selfless at the same time. And they sacrificed a lot, but maintained their happiness. And I think that this is going to teach me how to really just stay focused as far as my goals, but also teach me how to be a good mom at the same time. You know, just because I'm going to continue fighting isn't going to make me a bad mom. Mm -hmm. And selfish and irresponsible because I get that a lot like I come from a, a European background and I get a lot of I get a lot of shit from like other moms who you know made their kids their lives and they're just kind of like oh you're gonna be selfish and keep doing this and hurting yourself and harming yourself when really i they don't understand that. I don't see it like that. I don't see it as hurting or harming myself. I see it as growth. I have grown so much as a person in the last four and a half years. I wouldn't take anything back. Um, I've made some amazing friends. I met the love of my life. Oh, there you go. Father of my child. And <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't take any of it back. And I'm just excited to... to keep learning all of that and exploring more. That's all we got for you guys today. Yeah, it was a good time. I I appreciate the fact that people actually took time to ask some questions and really care. People don't really care. Whatever. If they acted like they care, I at least appreciate it. Thanks for acting like you guys care. If you really do care. <laughs> but yep maybe we'll do this again next time if you're around we'll see hey are you qualified to party it's a little short I'm a dad now almost hey tell me your, your favorite dad joke <laughs> no do it no. do it I got nothing for you really mm-hmm. dang bud Oh, it's getting late. (laughs) All right, folks. Yeah, thank you for your time. Thanks for your time. 
Yeah, yes, I'm sure. No, <laughs> okay. I don't because I can see it there. <laughs> see? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Thanks for your time. And we're going to go sleep Everything's now. the same on social media, right? I've watched your blog, so that's what you usually say at the end. That at Marina Shafir. <laughs> or Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, at Marina Shafir, pretty much everywhere. M-A-R-I-N-A-S-H-A-F-I-R. And if we get another outpour of wonderful questions, we might do this again next time. Yeah. And everything from these at Roderick Strong. Yeah, follow him. Um, Everywhere. Yeah. Don't follow her too much. <laughs> Weirdo. Yeah.